Hello everyone, my name is Jesse, and welcome back to an updated Bakugan collection video. So I did one of these about half a year ago or so, and um, I'm decided I'm going to make another one to just show you guys my updated collection. Uh, I do want to uh, put on here that I do sell my Bakugan, so some of them that were in my collection previously uh, may have been up for sale and are no longer in my collection. Um, if you do want to check out what Bakugan I have for sale in my collection, you can find the links to that down in the description. You can check out my eBay and my Mercari, as well as contact me on my Instagram. It's at JoystickJesse. Um, all those links are down below in the description, so feel free to check them out. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So guys, starting out today, we're going to go through some cards I want to use just to open up the Bakugan. Uh, so today's cards are Ocean Spray, pretty interesting. This uh, Japanese-themed, like, Percival, which he's upside down on it. I'm not sure why. I, I guess it's called Bottomless Dacon, so maybe it's got a some kind of play on words with that, but that's him. Um, and the card's just upside down, kind of weird. We have this cool Subterra Manion card, which I really like. Um, and Spitting Fire, just featuring Drago. You can never have too much Drago when you're talking about Bakugan, am I right? Alright guys, I want to start off with my collection, like my main collection that I keep on display and the most interesting ones. So we're going to start off with most of the main characters from the Bakugan Battle Brawlers show. And uh, then we're going to New Vestroya and then we'll get into like the other ones I kind of keep in boxes and stuff that aren't normally on display in my collection. Alright guys, so you can't start off any Bakugan collection without a Pyrus Dragonoid. This is my B1. So part of my B1 collection, I have all of the uh, the first evolutions in B1, except for like single-headed Hydranoid, which didn't come like that. Uh, here we go, we have B2, Pyrus Delta Dragonoid, pretty sick. And then of course we have Pyrus Infinity Dragonoid. Again, remember they made no Pyrus Ultimate Dragonoid, so this is what you get pretty much from the first season here. Um, overall, pretty epic, epic start of the video, I think. Up next on my list, I have a Ventus B1 Skyrus open core right here. Pretty valuable Bakugan. Uh, rather tough to get. Took me a long time to find. And then we have its evolution right here. Storm Skyrus B2 Ventus. This one's a bit harder to like function. It, it, everything flops. But uh, there we are right there. Pretty sick. Have B1 Heos T Guerrera right there and then we have the b2 chaos blade tigrera here i like these guys a lot too they used to be my favorite when i was a kid we have a b1 subterra gorum right there and then we have b2 subterra hammer gorum right here i like these guys too up next we have a B1 Open Core Aquas Preus, as well as a B2 Double Sided, so both of them. So we have uh, Aquas Diablo, and then if I flip it over here, so I can get them both up on the same card. Uh, we also have Angelo here, so kind of like that, yep. Also really difficult to come by. Actually both of these are relatively difficult to come by, but um, yeah, I got them for a pretty good deal, both of them, actually. So yeah, there they are. Lastly, we have my Hydronoid collection, which is quite extensive. Uh, we'll start off with the regular Darkest. So we have a Darkest Dual Hydronoid, which you kind of can't see. Hang on. Darkest Dual Hydronoid. Uh, we also have Darkest Alpha Hydronoid right here. I'll leave you guys together that then we have the master raid pack which is very rare so here is a darkest translucent dual hydronoid then we have the darkest translucent alpha hydronoid and lastly the uh, icing on the cake here darkest translucent hydronoid himself single headed right here his tail sometimes doesn't come out all the way poke that out and bam right there right in the foreground for you pretty rare set right here um these these three translucent ones go from anywhere from like 300 to 500 dollars depending on how lucky you get and these two back here 
are pretty cool. This is a B2 I custom painted. Uh, I'm super happy with the way he turned out. But yeah, that's my uh, Hydroid collection. I also have this pretty interesting uh, gate card right here, which I'll push these guys out of the way to show you. Um, I have this cool, interesting gate card here. It's actually a Doom card that I, I made myself. So just some like, uh, some glossy printer paper and then just some Photoshop and some glue made that. So I think it's pretty sick. But uh, yeah, it's also magnetic, so like things will stick on it. Um, just thought it was cool. Good little showpiece. Thought I'd throw it in there just to show you guys. Last up for like my Bakugan Battle Brawlers main collection, we have a DS exclusive White Naga. Really cool Bakugan. And then I also have a custom painted White Wavern. Trying to make it accurate to the show. Uh, she struggles to open just a little bit. Just let things stick. Um, but there she is in all her glory. So there you got both of them. Pretty cool. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. <laughs> but yeah, there's them. All right, so up next, we're going to do my new Vistoria collection. And for this one, I tried to get them all translucent, if I could. Or I just got the, like, rarest of the sets. So, like, there's, like, my Minx Elfin and some of my, um... Some of my Helioses that are not translucent just because there are rarer ones. But for most of these, they're all translucent, um, except if it applies and is applicable otherwise. So let's get started. So first up, we have my um, Ventus Ingram set here. So there's Ventus Ingram. And then we also have Ventus Master Ingram right here. Again, Japanese exclusive. Um, most of these Japanese exclusives are a bit more difficult to get as well as more expensive but uh, there's a translucent set for these guys Subterra Wilda so we got the original evolution that was never in the show and uh, let's see if I can get these feet out there we go and then we have translucent Subterra Wilda there we go feet come out next we got these guys in translucent as well I love the like brown color on these it's really nice these I don't have in translucent but they are crystal because uh, they didn't make a crystal mega nemesis um, they only made a translucent regular nemesis which is also not really in the show he's already pre-evolved um, so there's that and then this is my mega nemesis which is apparently having difficulty popping out uh oh there we go all right you can't even see him on, on screen hang on let me back him up Let's see if I can get him all the way on the screen. He's so tall. Um, but yeah, that's that's my, my crystal set here. Pretty nice. Um, absolutely love the crystal. I, I think that was the, the way to go here. Up next are my translucent darkest Percivals. Right here is translucent Percival. And then this right here is going to be my translucent darkest night Percival, which is arguably the rarest Bakugan I have in my collection. Um, he has his G power covered. He's in relatively amazing condition. You guys want to see a video of me explaining it. Um, there is one on my channel. I'll try and leave it as an end card at the end of the video as well if I remember. Um, get his tail out too. There we go. That's better. Um, but yeah, he is quite rare. At least from what I've gathered. Um, so there he is in all his beautiful glory. Up next, we have Aquas Elfin right there. Their feet out. Oop, there we go. I'm gonna stick on the card. There we go. And then we have Aquas Minx Elfin, which is special colors. Um, so all this yellow you see is not typically found in the regular Japanese one. Um, there's a special colors version that was released, and uh, they also didn't release an Aquas one in transparent, as far as I'm aware, or translucent. Um, so this was probably the rarest I could get, which is the special colors. Um, pretty tif pretty difficult find, and uh, yeah, pretty proud of it. Up next, we got probably everyone's favorites on the lists. Um, so we have a Hex Viper Helios, which is freaking cool. Spreads out like that. Love Helios. I have a custom painted cyborg Helios that I painted myself and uh, he sometimes has difficulty opening not because of the paint but just he's always been difficult to open I don't know what's up I can pop him open there come on there we go 
fair he is in all his glory. And then the one that everyone asks about, the one I get tons of comments on, is the anime accurate Pyrus Helios. So he's the black edition, not the gray one. Uh, he's the most anime accurate you can get. And uh, yeah, pretty sick. So I can get a better focal on him. Let's get his boosters down too if I can, because those are obviously important. And uh, yeah, there's my Helios set. Um, this is the one people go crazy over, so <laughs> go ahead and put your comments about it down below. <laughs> All right, next up we have all my translucent dragonoids from New Vistoria. So we have translucent, come out. we have translucent Pyrus Neo Dragonoid. Super nice, love him. Up next we have translucent Pyrus Cross Dragonoid, who's the uh, Bakugan exclusive for the New Vistoria game, uh, Japanese release or whatever. This is the, the exclusive Bakugan for that one. And he's also Vortex, just even get him to spin if he's not stuck on something. Oop, he's definitely stuck on something. What's he stuck on? Oh, okay, well he tried. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> but yeah, he spins as well. I don't know what he was stuck on there. Normally he's pretty good about working. Um, so we have that, and then we have translucent Helix Dragonoid. So right here, get his stuff out right there. And then I also have his um, jet core, like his translucent jet core in the back here. Um, this is deluxe, it glows and lights up. So if we actually pop open his stuff, I'll move these guys in the background, um, pop that down. This is attached and it glows. Um, only one light seems to work sometimes. It's very old when I got it, the batteries were incredibly corroded. I think I have a video on it somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's what he looks like. Super cool, um, very big and intimidating backer gun. Really love him. And uh, yeah, that's all for like my uh, collection for the new Vestroya Translucence and we'll get into the other one. All right guys, up next we have like my Marvel series and uh, just an extra that I have that I keep in this display case all together. Um, so I wanna start off with like the least rare and go up to the most rare. So first up we have Iron Man right there. And then we have Wolverine as well. Super cool Bakugan. Yep, keep those together. And then last, we have the icing on the cake here. Well, I got another one, but uh, this is my Spider-Man, my Pyrus Spider-Man, super rare. Unfortunately, he's missing some of a leg right there, but uh, nevertheless, still an absolutely amazing backer gun. Um, super hard to get, got him in my collection, got him for a good deal just because he's missing a leg. Um, love him, doesn't really take away from much, super cool. Um, those are most of my Marvel series. I think it's all of them actually. And then last but not least, I have this custom darkest anime accurate Helios. So let's see if we can get him open. Yep. And um, there he is in all his glory. Super cool. Love him. Um, he's part of the Mechanium Surge series. I have a whole video showing how I made him. Um, but he, I just keep him in the display case with these guys. Super cool Bakugan. Um, very very fun to paint and everything yeah let's keep moving all right guys for this next uh set i'm just kind of kind of power through them because i have a lot um and it would take me days to get through them all so i'm just gonna like drop them down on the ground and uh just kind of go off the name so we have a battle worn wilda um regular chaos nemesis b1 Subterra Sensipoid, got a Aquas Meganimus, which his head is also kind of being weird. Um, Darkest B1 Fear Reaper, you guys can't see these, they're on focus, my bad. There you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, they'll be chilling in the back here, got more coming. Um, have the counterpart, we have an Aquas Nemesis, we have a Pyrus Alto Brontes, I believe. Yeah. Right there, super cool. Harpus, I believe, Ventus Harpus. There you go. Have the Chaos Mega Nemesis right there. Pyrus Fortress. Um, I have this giant, like, darkest McDonald's toy Dragonoid Delta that I got. Uh, kind of cool, he popped open with this little button here. I've got all of the um, different, like, Guardian Bakugan, like the um, like the, the, the ones from the first season. So we have Apollonier. Um, 
this should be over us. Yep, and they're all like somewhat, somewhat custom painted. Um, like here we have Clayf. Let's see if I can get him up. Yep, Clayf, and then um, Lars Lion. Oop. Come on, Lars Lion. Where are your Where's your thing? There we go. Lars Lion back there. Um, and then. Cool. Oh, and Exedra. Totally forgot about Exedra. <laughs> Got Sirenoid. I think it's a B Striker. Yeah, B Striker. I have this cool Baku Steel Chaos um, Abyss Omega, which is like one of my favorite Bakugan ever. I just love looking at him. Super cool Bakugan. Right there. Get his mouth open. So, yeah, pretty sick. Um, another battle worn Wilda. I don't know why I have so many of these, but here it is. If I can get it open, come on. There we go. This is a custom painted Aquas Hades. Cool pack is on right there. Try and get it to open. Maybe I should close the teeth first. There we go. Yeah. This one's for sale, by the way. Really like it. Um, got this cool chaos. Uh, what's his name again? I'm blanking on it. Why am I blanking on that? I don't remember the name of that one. That's not good. Chaos Tentaclear here. I have a custom painted Darkest Cyborg Helios, so this would also be good for a collection. Um, pretty pretty cool. Again, they don't. I don't know why, but the Cyborg Bakugan, like the Cyborg Heliosis, they just straight up don't open. And this is like a problem before I painted it. Like it shouldn't have any problem opening, but there he is. Pretty cool Gan. Um, this is another one of my favorites. We have a Chaos um, Krakenoid and then Chaos Juggernoid. Keeping it moving here, I have various Bakugan in this little Ziploc. Um, some of them are like broken, some of them are working perfectly fine. I received them in the mail for free, so there's just a ton of them in here that are either good to go or kind of broken. Um, we have Scorpion right there. Um, I think we have a Hay or a Subterra Diablo, Darkest Wormquake, another Fortress, whatever this guy's called. He's very broken. Subterra or Pyrus Fortress there, this dude who's been like pretty broken. Um, I'll leave him over in the background. Got tons of cosmic ingrams. Um, Darkest Ravenoid. This guy. I think it's Leafrim, if I'm right. Uh, put these guys over to the side as well. I have this custom painted Avior. Um, kind of gave him like a Knight's Templar type of look. Um, I don't know. Kind of interesting. Just worn out. He also, he also still pops out like this. Kind of interesting. Interesting back are gone, so I'd probably paint him. Um, and then we have this guy, he's supposed to have his dice. He doesn't have it, unfortunately. Um, we have Fox Bat, Subterra Fox Bat. I believe that's his name. An Aquas Fortress. And then we have a custom painted Pyrist Dual Hydronoid. Pretty sick right there. I like that guy. Got another Subterra Cosmic Ingram, Ventus Blade Tigra, and another Aquas Cosmic Ingram. These guys I don't really want to take out of the bag but because they're like in pretty great condition but I do want to emphasize that I do have a bunch of like the um what do you call them the um like the blind bags that went out for a while I have a couple of them as well as one that's sealed in this bag. I'm trying to keep them all in there just because they're in relatively great condition. I don't want to touch them too much in case I break them or rub off one of the stickers. Uh, so they're gonna stay in this bag, but I got, you know, a couple of them, and then one that's sealed completely. I also have this dude. I don't know who he is, but he came with all my broken Bakugan that I got for free. He's like a, a mech sort of Bakugan um, that I can't really fit on here unless I zoom in. I guess I can zoom out here on a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't remember his name. Someone said it in the comments one time, but he kind of just chills here. I should probably put him up for sale in case anyone wants him. Um, but yeah, there he is. He's kind of cool. On to the reboot while I'm here. Um, so I have this sealed Elemental Dragonoid Ultra. I'm going to try and leave him kind of on display in the back, maybe. I can't really get a good... Let me see if I can get a good pick of him. So yeah, there he is, sealed. really like this dude. Um, so I'm going to keep him sealed. Put him there. 
Um, I also have this giant, um, the, all these, keep in mind, all these, um, these next Bakugan I'm showing are pretty much been given to me for free, except for the Elemental Dragon White I'm going to pull up. Um, I got them in like a, a cool Bakugan sent me a thing. There's a video on it. I'll try and leave that in the description as well, or just at the end of the video. But um, got this guy, super big Deca. Really like him. I've got this Elemental Dragon White. Now I did buy this. I opened it on camera. Um, so there's him. So I can get my camera back down for you guys. Zoom in some. Yep. There he is. Really like him. Wish I kind of did. Kind of wish I didn't open him, but it is what it is. And then all these next Bakugan I just got for free, given to me by Spin Master. Um, so I'll just kind of pop them open so y'all can look at them. These are reboot. I'm not incredibly familiar with the reboot, so I don't want to talk about them too much because I don't know what the heck I'm saying. But I'm just gonna pop them all up. Yeah, just think. Uh, yeah, I have a shark car in here too. Hang on. If I can get him out. Yep. There we go. Hey, off Shark Tar right there. Pretty sick Bakugan. Um, and then, lastly, on my list, I have like all the different pieces for Geoforge Dragonoid, in case you're interested in them. There's like Arachnid. Um, oh, I got one more. Hang on. Whoops. Missed this guy right here. <laughs> Put him to the side. Um, yeah, so then I just have all the Geoforge pieces, which are actually pretty sick. Him open, pop. Him open. Ooh, he flipped up. Another one in the background there. Just trying to get them all on this these cards here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, and then here's like the Dragonoid himself, which is actually a really sick back of gun because his head pops down too. Love that. Um, yeah, so that is like all the Geoforge pieces, and I think that is the end of my collection. That's all of them. Ooh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can zoom out some on these guys because I have like hundreds of Bakugan. <laughs> like, all of these guys, like, this doesn't even do it justice, but, like, there's a lot. Like, see if I can get this up. Like, that's just, like, a small piece. Like, there's more up top in this up here. Where I keep them displayed and everything. Um, yeah. So, uh, that is all my Bakugan, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. Again, some of these guys are for sale. Check them out. Link will be in the description. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.